Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you once again for spending your very valuable time with me. Uh, hot off the press, I just got this uh, Hot Toys figure. Again, you guys could see this is Spider-Man from the video game uh, series. This is, I guess, called the Classic Suit Spider-Man. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Just got it in. Figure I'd do a video on it. So here we go. Box, uh, nice and fresh. I love these type of boxes because they're not slip-on uh, cases. They actually have a magnet uh, right here on the side. And then as you open this, you see a lot of the uh, artwork. Uh, that's really cool. But there is a magnet here that holds that in place. And then down here, you see this, the writing your memoirs. Don't forget to, the hyphen between spider and man, which I'm often guilty of. And you guys can see the uh, figure there looking all awesome. I had just had to get this one because I have a couple of other Hot Toy figures. Uh, but I just didn't have quite the uh, classic look, as they call it. And this was definitely one that I really want to get. So I'll get this open. Um, uh, you know, probably give you a look at the accessories. And then, of course, the figure itself. All right, he finally got Spider-Man out of his uh, cardboard prison there. Um, really cool looking figure. I figure before we move into the figure itself, I'll show you some of the accessories that this guy comes with. Uh, some of the standard stuff that all these Spider-Man Hot Toys figures come with are these um, uh, web effects, right? So you're gonna get a couple like this. These are almost mandatory uh, at this point. Uh, so it's really cool they include these. Um, you know, for posing or, or stuff like that. So that's really cool. They also include something like this. These are included with pretty much every Spider-Man figure that I have. The the two Miles Morales Spider-Man figures that I have from Hot Toys have this. The advanced suit. Uh, so again, these are, as I said, pretty much mandated at this point. So it's cool they include them. So just want to get those out of the way. Uh, you get additional um, joints for the um, the hands there. Or the wrist in case i guess these are extras in case you somehow break the other ones that it comes with cool cell phone here uh reminds me a lot of the one that comes with the bodega cat suit um spider-man he also got a cell phone i believe miles also um from the spider where's that figure also had a, a cell phone well, here you go i believe he's talking to doc octavius out of there so cool little piece cell phone you get eyes you get two sets of eyes in addition to the ones he comes with you get these eyes um you know there you get a, a set of their more i guess squinting or closed up eyes and these are magnetized so you can take the ones that are on his face and put those on uh, you get uh, a lot of hands here you guys can see um, you get fists, so I'll show you guys this. So close hand fists, um, you get swinging or, or reaching out hands. He, this is probably to grasp his cell phone. You get pointing hands. I'm assuming they specifically include these to account for that meme uh, or that picture from the old Spider-Man cartoon show where there is like two of them pointing at each other, but that's something you could do. You get stretched out, uh, sort of reaching out hands. Of course, you have to get the classic shooting uh, spiderweb hands. And um, you get these, which essentially what these are for are for these hands. So that um, you could take a section of here. You can pull it slightly apart in the hands. You remove it as such. And then you replace it uh, with this. So it looks like, again, he is, uh, it's probably the other one. He is shooting a uh, web. So, sorry, like this. So if you want to replace it, you put it in place. And then it looks like he's got the web sort of uh, coming out of that hand. So yeah, a lot of options there with the hands. This is in addition to what's already in uh, on him. Uh, so we went over the eyes, the cell phone. Uh, the other cool thing that I really uh, liked is you get a Daily Bugle newspaper with uh, a couple of headlines there. Cured, anti-serum cures sickness, Daily Bugle. And as you open it, it's got a bunch of pages here. 
Here's a Electro Rhino Vulture Scorpion. Uh, was that train stopped in his tracks? Spidey squashed. Fist to New York City. I'm the one who kept order. Uh, so again, all callbacks to the uh, PS4 video game, The Raft, Demons in Detail, uh, The Devil and Lee, and again, and so on. Why Hot Spidey? Greatest hits of the city. Here's a highlight on Miles, Magnificent Minds, Your Daily Horoscope. Uh, now, all this text is really too small for me to read, uh, but there you go. This is a fully featured uh, little newspaper, so it's kind of cool that they included this. Who is the Spider-Man? And that's something you can use when posing. Um, and then we move on to the base. Your standard Hot Toys uh, base, classic suit Spider-Man. Really cool, I like this. And again, some... Um, detailing and, and artwork there of uh, the figure in Spider-Man itself. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to get you know, your standard like bendy pole here that you use to pose uh, Spider-Man. You also get an extension uh, on the pole uh, for this one specifically. And you can sort of screw that in and you're kind of uh, good to go to get that extra length. This is used with another accessory that I'll show you guys in a second. But you do get your uh, standard clamp here. I mean, these you get these with all, a lot of these Spider-Man or Hot Toys figures. Uh, you get this additional piece, and this is because of one accessory, but I'll show you. You essentially uh, take this, and you're going to put it here. And then that gives you essentially um, two, um, two of these sections that you could put. Uh, one is for the pole itself for the figure, so you can put that on there. But the other one kind of leads, uh, this other section here, uh, sort of leads to this, this giant scorpion um, tail. Again, obviously we know the scorpion is one of Spider-Man's enemies, so they included this uh, as an accessory for you to pose his figure with, nice uh, pointy end, and the instructions specifically say, not to do this or be careful doing this uh so i guess it's a little sharp uh and then there's some articulation here but this is sort of like a bendy pole so it does conform to uh how you want to pose this and uh it's really nicely detailed it's green black with some yellow um detailing there uh it's really cool is you could actually hurt somebody with this uh not that you'd want to but uh yeah but there it is. And essentially what you can do with this is there is an end here with some threading. And the threading is so that you can um, screw that in place of the back part here on the base. So I'm going to attempt to do this here. But there you go. So um, this kind of leads into the last accessory, which is the... Um, I'll just show you guys this diorama uh, background, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's cardboard. Uh, I thought it was hard plastic initially when I opened it. Uh, this comes in uh, flat. You have to bend it in and, and sort of build it. It's actually um, up here. Uh, there are magnets. It comes in two sections. So uh, the wall itself is one section. Uh, you kind of fold this in and then the top portions here. Uh, there's tabs that you push in and then as you guys can see here there's magnets so once you have that in you kind of just uh, fold that in place and the magnets will sort of make this cool um, wall uh, sort of uh, diorama for you to pose your spider-man with you guys could see some i guess some fan or ac unit uh, this plastic here is very uh, not gonna lie a bit cheap feeling uh it's not it's not like thick plastic it's just very thin so i'd be very careful with this section but the rest of it is done well um even though this is cardboard it does it does feel sturdy but yeah you can see it's scorpion uh there on the um graffiti on the wall but essentially for the instructions the expectations are that you can post this um in such a way that if you wanted to Let's say have Spider-Man come in here. You can do something like that, right? So you have the base and you have the spider I mean, you can mess around with the scorpion tail. 
make it come around the side or to through different configurations. So that's really cool that they again included that. And you will use the clamp to uh, sort of put that in there and make it seem like he's swinging and fighting the scorpion. So kind of cool. That's a nice display option. Uh, I'm still kind of uh, uncertain on if I will use this for my display, but it is nice. Uh, I think it's it's a nice thing that they've included uh, that uh, you know with the figure. So that's pretty much it for the accessories. Oh, and you obviously get your instructions. They kind of show you how to handle the figure, how to put things together if you want to change accessories, etc. Um, really cool. I really wish Hot Toys would do these in color. Uh, I'm, I'm not really down with black and white uh, instructions nowadays, especially for the price that sometimes these things cost. So that's everything. I'm going to then move this out of the way without breaking anything. And then we'll come and talk about the main attraction here, the main figure, Spider-Man. This is based on the uh, video game uh, from, at least I know it from PlayStation. I, I believe this game this game is now on PC as well. Uh, awesome game. This is essentially the classic suit. Uh, so essentially this is the Spider-Man that I grew up watching. Uh, this is his basic suit from the comics and the show. Uh, so and it's presented really really well uh, the material is very similar to the suits that are, are in with the advanced suit spider-man the bodega cat suit that i have the cybrook spider-man if you have any of those the material is uh very very similar uh it's really well done i love the detailing like even in, in the blue there's a lot of nice texture there's a lot of uh, nice line work so it's not just plain blue um, so it's really cool. I love, I, I just love this costume in general. I think it's, it's really, really well done. The head sculpt itself, again, um, standard Spider-Man head, but it's really cool. The web, the webbing is raised on the costume. And as I mentioned earlier, because you get extra eyes, if you wanted to replace them, essentially, you're supposed to push out here on this edge and pull them out and the eyes are magnetized. So we're gonna go in a second over articulation, but the suit itself, uh, again, it's really, really well, well, well done. Uh, it's a nice representation of the classic Spider-Man suit with this big chunky spider in the back that is, again, raised. Um, that, you know, nice detail in the back. You see some line work, really cool. Uh, and the hands here, you could see obviously his, uh, web shooters right because the spider-man didn't have uh, natural web shooters here's the logo on the chest but overall really cool uh, i do like the way the suit uh the suit looks and also the body uh the muscle detailing is definitely there it's not flat they added some um the legs here the thighs the, the chest is very well pronounced i don't know if you guys could tell uh, kind of sticks up a bit, so definitely been working out some um, abdominal muscles and the arms here. So really, really cool, really well done. So articulation-wise, uh, I will say, as I mentioned earlier, the suit is very high quality. The material is very similar, again, to all those uh, other Spider-Man, the, the uh, advanced suit and Bodega Cat suit, etc. Um, the material is great. It feels nice, um, but as far as articulation itself, uh, I'll go over that right now. So you can move up. Uh, he does get a elbow. Uh, his hands do fully turn around, and there are own joints where you can move them um, in and out if you wish. So that's something you could do here. There you go. Uh, the head. Again here, the head can fully... 360 you can move the neck up and down uh, the the arms probably can go back but the costume is a bit restrictive so that's probably as far as I would go without the risk of breaking anything they can come forward as well uh, but that's probably as comfortable as I would get you see the suit there bunching up you can move this down and up to give them I guess more pronounced uh, shoulders if you wanted to and the hands here, you, as you can see, you could slightly turn them 
So that's again cool. He does have app crunch, so you can make him look down that much. Again, you could see the suit here bunching up. And he can also uh, look back. That's probably as far as I would take it though, right there. Um, but the suit does, does stretch, uh, I think, pretty well to account for that. Um, he can turn the weight slightly, but again, it's probably the suit more that's restrictive there. So you guys can see that. Um, the legs, as you can hear, there are ratchets there, so you could maybe make him do the splits like that. Um, move them in. They can move out probably about this much as, as comfortable as I'm feeling without breaking anything. And the legs do... Uh, full the knees rather a full 90 degree and you can move them slightly side to side uh, you can feel the I guess the extra parts that they probably attach to the suit or the um, maybe rather the, the body itself underneath the legs here uh, ankle articulation it is there you can turn them left and right you can move ankle wise up down just be careful with the suit here don't want to rip anything and he has toe toe articulation and there is uh some slight uh ankle movement there that you can account for uh overall i mean the, the articulation is there uh the only concern for me uh is uh is the suit itself uh this is i think one of those suits that perhaps you um need to be really careful with when you put him in poses for prolonged periods of time uh, you guys can see there's already some bunching up here uh, when you move the, for example, the arms. So uh, that's pretty pronounced. And I'm sure if I were to leave this like that for a long period of time, I'd come back to creases. Uh, I know these uh, suits do tend to uh, bounce back. But uh, again, it, that all depends on you, right? Some folks will post these things and... It doesn't really matter to them you know they're they're happy posing them if you are the type of person that wants to keep this mint uh just be really careful with uh sort of posing these things in extended periods uh, in these maybe extreme poses but it, he is possible uh, okay um you know you guys could see that there as i said the suit's mainly the one sort of if i need to move the arms back uh sort of uh start seeing stuff like this and you need to be really careful uh with it same thing here, right? If I move his leg up, you're going to get bunching up here. And you can try to stretch this a little to try to take some of that away. Uh, but again, it, it's there. It's something that can't really be ignored. And you have to be careful when posing the ankles here. Uh, so you, you can get him in some really cool poses. But again, I would be really uh, hesitant with sort of trying to um, leave him in some extreme poses for far too long uh you know just be uh really careful but uh, overall I i'd say the articulation is there you just have to be really really careful uh, you see some of the stitching here um it looks fine but again i would just be worried if you pull the arm up too much how long this stitching is going to last but it's not a bad figure by any means i think this is something that uh, it's sort of endemic or just that's normal on all the Hot Toys, uh, Spider-Man uh, toys. I mean, they look awesome. They look great. And you can post them. You just have to sort of be willing to um, have that compromise that perhaps the, the suit won't stay squeaky clean like on a regular um, action figure. Or like in my favorite Spider-Man figure, like in this, uh, the Hot Toys uh, Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales, that suit... Uh, man, you could pose that thing unlimited times. Uh, this one, you you know, it's not as possible, but uh, I think the suit is great. I know probably a lot of folks are going to place this folk and this guy in some kind of uh, museum pose. Uh, but as you guys can see, he looks really, really cool. And all the accessories he accessories he comes with. Uh, to me, that's uh, one of the reasons why I want to get this guy. It was mainly the uh suit itself you know obviously i grew up watching this suit this is a classic spider-man uh suit for me from the comics and the and the tv show and it's really well done in that in that regard again it's just if you know hot toys you just have to be really careful 
with how long you leave them in um in poses etc but it's a compromise and i was willing to make that compromise for um this figure itself so really cool and then before we close uh we'll do some quick comparisons okay guys so in closing uh i do enjoy this figure a lot i want to show you guys there um next to the bodega cat suit spider-man the miles morales um, suit material is similar obviously a whole different color and motif going there but you guys can see them there together uh, i think they do fit in these are both from the same uh video game uh sort of uh series uh, by hot toys uh height wise probably about the same size so again you guys can see see them there for yourself uh pretty cool so we'll move him out uh to stay in in this uh perhaps miles thing here he is next to the uh animated spider-man into the spider-verse miles if you're looking for a possible spider-man figure where you really won't have any issues this is definitely it uh this one's great this is classic spider-man you can't go wrong with classic spider-man but the possibility on this guy just kind of far outweighs uh what you could do with this one uh, but yeah, just want to show them there again. This is from a whole different. This is from the Spider-Verse again This is more a uh, classic suit spider-man from a video game uh, Related there's but just want to show them together for anyone out there who may be interested uh, the other one here is the um, Advanced suit spider-man this is again from the video game. This is the main suit that he wears in, in the game um, and again just want to show them that they're about the same height. He looks a little shorter because of the pose that I have him in. He's a bit more spread. Uh, his legs are a bit more spread open. Uh, but you guys can see there, the blue on this guy is a bit more uh, darker and navy in color. This guy is definitely brighter. Uh, but just want to, again, show them there. You guys can see them. They actually do look really cool uh, together. And then the uh, last one that I have here is the Cyborg Spider-Man suit. And this is probably the one that looks that it's pretty much the uh, the same suit, uh, just obviously the cyborg uh, things that he has going on. The suit's pretty ripped up, but as far as the design is pretty much the exact same suit. The colors on this one again are way more vibrant on the classic Spider-Man suit. Again, very uh, bright red and blue, which I do prefer, versus a more muted color uh, of this one. Uh, as I said, the materials uh, for these two suits and the Bodega Cat suit and the Advanced uh, Spider-Man, uh, this guy here, are all pretty much uh, the same material. Uh, again, you can put them in poses. I just would not leave them uh, in anything kind of too extreme for prolonged periods of time. But you know what? They're yours. They're your toys. Pose them up. These things are not going to last you forever. Enjoy them, which is the reason why I ended up getting... Uh, this guy here, I really wanted a classic Spider-Man added to my collection, and now I do. Uh, so I'm very, very, very happy with it. Uh, I love the extra accessories, especially the base with the scorpion tail. I think that's something I'm going to play around with. But overall, to me, this is definitely worth it as far as getting a classic Spider-Man and adding him here to the collection. But that's pretty much all my thoughts. You know, if I missed anything, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you again so much if you made it to the end for spending your very valuable time with me. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, thank you so much. Uh, you know, take care of yourself. Be nice to each other. And Spider-Man says goodbye and see you next time. Bye-bye.